we are you know, approaching a billion in revenue. We have 12,000 customers. We have customers in 100 countries. We have 95 of the Fortune 100 as customers. We have 83% of the Fortune 500 as customers. We have for decades operated in mission critical systems where if our, if our software doesn't work, you know, customers can't close the quarter. They can't, you know, deliver reporting to the SEC. They can't, you know, pay their employees. What we see with customers is that the kind of focus and um, urgency has only increased with AI and, and specifically agentic AI. And the way I think about it is for, for many years, people have said, hey, I want to make data-driven decisions. And I feel like that will allow me to make, you know, better decisions for my business. You know, when you get to agentic AI, what you're talking about is I want to actually have the machine make decisions at scale. For agentic AI to work, it's got to have some level of context to make the right decision. And there are two sources of context. One is human intervention and the other is data. And so I think, you know, data integrity, the business we're in, has only become more important with the advent of AI. Better data integrity, better decisions, and it makes a lot of sense. A reality that we see with enterprises where they say, I think you know, AI makes a lot of sense and I want to take advantage of that. Um, I don't know that some of the smaller startups understand like some of the requirements that enterprises have around security, reliability, explainability, um, the, the support levels that you need to provide, being able to understand what does it mean to deliver a new technology or a new feature based on a new technology and what level of reliability and kind of industrial strength capability and expertise and supportability you need to provide, I think is really important. But we also realize that, you know, there are other organizations uh, like yourself that have deeper expertise and, and different expertise and that one plus one can equal three. Your team, by the way, has been amazing. We, we learned a lot from them. They're really experts. So well, I think that's one of the things that you guys are so deep in agentic AI. We're so deep in data integrity and the disciplines underneath that, data integration, data quality, data governance. I think that's where you get kind of an opportunity to create really new innovation. Yeah, I, I actually learned a lot about what you guys do after yeah. meeting with the team. And also when we were like working with uh, with customers about how they can make better decisions on their data, we found most of the time we're not really solving like a agent pro AI agents problem. Most yeah. of the time we're like, they have data siloed everywhere and right. their data is not clean. So you're spending most of the time actually maintaining and getting to data integrity. Building the AI agents once you have that is mostly you get it from having clean and, and high data integrity. If you look, we're a, a large player in data quality and we've had cut you know, products in the market for 30 years. And if you look at uh, at some of those mature deployments, you know, they're managing thousands of rules, thousands of rules. And there's a lot of toil that is associated with kind of running that data quality program and a lot of manual effort. And we think there's a really significant opportunity to, to remove that. So I think you have to try a lot of things and figure out, you know, where do you, where can you get traction and create value? And that's, you know, one of the reasons that we've got so many kind of deployments internally and why we're working with, uh, you know, key partners like yourself on how do we go understand what is possible here and where it's gonna be kind of the biggest impact. So you're basically combining internal productivity for the team and also incorporating that in, in your products so you can also bring productivity to your users. So yeah, on the product side, I mean, there's a bunch that we're doing there, but you know, an example would be in data governance. You know, generally customers want to build a business glossary. And historically that's been a manual process and a business user or a business owner of some element of data would have to sit down and type out, this is what this particular field means in business terms. Um, we're now able to offer an, uh, an automated ability to do that. One of our customers as a design partner has 100,000 defined business terms. So this is real you know, time savings. Uh, so we think there's a lot of uh, really interesting productivity uh, gains that are available to our users. And just faster time to value and faster time to kind of high integrity data. And what do you want to precisely to be remembered for in the era of AI. You know, when I started with the business, it was kind of the $60 million mainly mainframe business. Um, and now we're approaching a billion dollars. Um, and I think the opportunity in front of us has never been bigger. And so it's not really about my legacy. It's more, I think we've I've had the privilege of being a part of this team that I think has accomplished something amazing. And I think AI gives us an opportunity to to reach the full potential of precisely and create a new level of value for customers. And I can see it, 
you know, and, and, and there's, there's times right now where I can taste it, um, but I want our team to frankly be successful in, in becoming, you know, the leader in delivering this kind of AI enabled data integrity value proposition.